If you have a Kohler toilet that won't stop running, uh, model number is back there. In case you want to know what model number I'm using. You can see the water is still just running out a little bit and it runs all day and night. So rather than having to replace the whole thing, this thing is serviceable. There's a seal right in here that's real easy to get to. And here is how to take it out, clean it, and hopefully stop the leak. First, turn off the water at the wall. So I've turned off the, the little faucet at the wall so the water is no longer constantly running. If you don't turn off the water, you're gonna, you'll get a geyser here. But you just grab it by the stick here and rotate it sideways, and then you can get into it to clean it. And you can pull this separate from the plunger. That way you're able to get it out and really get in there, inspect it, clean it off, and uh, just get all the crud out of it. You can see there's a lot of rusty, rusty water effects here. So we'll clean that out and see if it works. So if we pull that open, we get into a lot of crud. So once I've brushed that out with a toothbrush, cleaned everything, it should be good, unless the rubber's bad, in which case we'll have to replace it. Also, I should mention, this toilet has a QR code in it. So if you have one of these brands of toilet, uh, how I found this out was by scanning that QR code and it brings up the repair manual on your phone. And once that's sufficiently cleaned off, there's a little pin here. So I just put it back on top of the pin. Pin goes through the little hole. So the pin goes through the little hole like that, so when you push on it, you see the pin go up and down. And that goes on off center, and then you just turn it back to lock it in place, and then snap your plunger back on here. I don't think that's actually called a plunger. And then Probably the best thing for me to do would be, have been to just connect it and disconnect it. But if you screwed it up or down at all, you just want to make it match the setting that it had before. Then turn the water back on and see if it stops. All right, that cleaning did not work for me. So I'm going to take a new part and put it on here. So I just put it on and click it back this way. Click the plunger onto the new piece. Then turn on the valve. And that worked.